Nice, thank you. Welcome to the 11th Asian Bankers Summit and to the Achievement Awards Dinner 2010. It's a pleasure to bring this event back to Singapore. The last time we were in Singapore was in 2005, and what a difference five years makes. Some of you may have found it really difficult to get a room at the Hard Rock Hotel or the other hotels nearby, and that in itself was an experience for us because we did not realize that in a casino complex, although the casino occupies only 15% of the space, it generates 80% of the revenue. And therefore, no matter how large a conference you have here, you're not as important as the people who come here to gamble. <laughs> so if you told them that you are here to attend the Asian Bankers Summit or the Leadership Achievement Awards, you would not have been given priority for a room to stay in this hotel. Maybe you would have got a room if you told them that you were here to gamble. But if that didn't work, you could tell them that you were here as an investment banker, and that might have got a room for you as well. Leadership is a very important theme in all our lives, and increasingly more important as the world becomes a more complex place to live in. The opportunities for leadership are wider open today than they've ever been in the history of mankind. We have great universities, we have equality in terms of opportunity for people of all races, of all economic circumstances. And yet, the funny thing is that we are no closer to understanding what makes for great leadership today than we were ever in the history of mankind. And yet, our institutions are larger than they were ever before. They are far more complex than they were, and therefore, it is far more important to understand, track, and change ourselves to meet the demands of leadership that we've been entrusted to. The purpose of these celebrations, as it were, is not just a matter of celebrating leadership or achievements in any one year. It is to track how we perform across time. And if you look at the people who have won the awards in the past years and the ones who win this year and the ones who might come on stage in the years to come, we tend to find that there is a track or there is a commonality in terms of the qualities of leadership that in some ways has not changed through time. And we want to put our finger on those commonalities and celebrate them and say to ourselves that being human, being part of human society, no matter what the changes we, are, we become accustomed to over time, there are some qualities about leadership that will not change. Some of you may think that the Asian banker puts out these awards just for reasons of commercial vanity in some ways. I like to, I like to uh, share with you that over a period of time, we've been collating the data, the stories, the best practices, the benchmarks, and have been creating and putting them into a repository of information that we can share with you. In fact, if you look at our website today, one of the most important products and services that we provide in our website is the one on the top left-hand corner called the Asian Banker Data Center. And in the data center, we have a repository now of how your banks perform on the balance sheet as well as operationally in terms of your distribution base, your risk management, your various business lines, and so on. And as we track these changes, we put together the data that, that then becomes the data that we use for tracking the leadership awards that we give away in, in these meetings. We talk to your investors, and in fact, today we've become the foremost 
research organization that talks to investors or financial institutions globally every three months. And we track and we document what your investors say about you. Our analytics is something that has become an important part of a number of banks. You use that in your, in your own assessment, in your own internal presentations and so on. And for a while, we were tracking what we call the strongest balance sheets of banks. In, in a sense that by putting together a scorecard that looks at all the different aspects of the balance sheet, the, the rate at which you grow, your risk profile, your core franchise, and your profitability and, and, and shareholder accountability, we, we put together a framework which has now become well accepted in this region. Today, we are introducing a new framework that takes it one step further. The balance sheet is only one aspect of your, of your respective institution's story. We put together a profile of what a strong bank should look like, and that profile includes a strong domestic franchise. And what's interesting about a strong domestic